It's recording. Oh, whoa. <laughs> hey, guys. This is not a stick up. We're just wearing <laughs> our masks. Yeah, we are masked up. We are going to go to Souvenirs, a great little resale shop in Lakewood. And uh, yeah, come shop with us. Come on. Let's, let's have go. Woohoo. I'm Janet Decay, the mummy. And I'm Grim Gory, the monkey. And together we host The, the Mummy, mummy and, and the Monkey's Hairy Scary Hangout. Friday nights on Facebook Live. Well, that was interesting. Whoa. Wow. It's recording. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you. Uh -oh. oh, is she not there? Oh, there she is. Oops. Hello. Thank you. It's sticking really badly. Oh, oh I didn't know if it was locked or. No, it's been bad lately. I don't know why. I need to adjust something or. Oh. Old doors, I guess. Yeah. Well, usually the worst one is damp out. And I get that, you know, because the wood expands, but now I don't know, it's not that big. How have you been? Anyways, good. How about you guys? Good. What Is it good? okay if I um, record a little bit for YouTube and say, hey, come check out Souvenirs? Sure, it's kind of a mess. Well, oh. People like the look at, uh, have you ever watched any stuff on YouTube, other resellers? And 1930s pre-movie. Wow. Yeah. 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 There are, and that was the first pre-movie stuff that was done because he was in the hole. Disney was in the hole. By like six million dollars. It was several million dollars at the time in the 1930s. Or doing a feature length cartoon because it's all hand. Every single movement is, is another cell. So he was down by millions and he'd already in the early 30s started merchandising um, Mickey Mouse. His assistant said to keep telling him the mask for his health for some weird So he was a license. Like, was a license. Took money to use the image. 1400 or something. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I was going to say, this guy too. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, I've never seen those before. It's like old and stuff like that. And I, I've seen them. Um, all right hey guys i'm here with the birthday boy are you filming me i'm filming you oh okay well hey happy birthday honey happy birthday baby Wow. Ah. Sorry if that looks scary. <laughs> um, yeah, we got the birthday McDonald's coffee's going birthday here. Coffee. The best coffee ever been, right? Yeah, I got a little lid on mine to sip it. Thank uh, you. So you wanted to go to a comic book shop I today. Do, I do. I, I, there's one comic shop in Parma that I, in, here in, in Cleveland, in Ohio, in Parma, that I love a lot. Um, they got a lot of cool back issues and things like that. So I'm going to go check that out, buy a few books to read tonight. So we can, um, and then we're going to get food from uh, a steakhouse. Gonna get it sent like you know, like rich people. You know? Yeah, like fancy people. Fancy people, that's better than get, rich. Get some uh, rich. get some steak dinners delivered. Just this one time. That's yeah. that that's back in it's a beans and potatoes tomorrow. <laughs> and maybe you go fishing like we were talking maybe about. Maybe peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut jelly. butter sandwiches. Yeah. If we can afford the jelly. <laughs> I don't think you're ready for that jelly though. But anyway, um Yeah, so yeah, so fun times uh, on this birthday oh mine. 52 times around the sun. 52. Wow. But Old. you perpetually act like you're 12. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> trust me, my metabolism isn't over 12 year olds anymore. Neither is my energy level. Well, uh, well, I don't know. We have a little bit of an age difference, but when I first met you, I thought you were closer to my age, actually. You because you seem more youthful. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's. And you, uh, you act like a big be. kid. That will always be. <laughs> that will always be so. Hey, I don't know if we're, are we going to get any, sh any uh, footage of the comic shop or just the afterwards? Oh, we could get some footage of the comic book Ooh. shop. We're in the heart of Parma. See if, uh, you know, gosh. It's a very, very bitterly cold day There's here in Parma. There's a little Polish Parma. diner, which we missed. We went there once, and it was amazing. Yeah, the little Polish diner is adorable. Yeah, so good. 
some really yummy authentic food. There's another restaurant up here that I really like that I haven't been to in a while. Which one's that? Situs. It's uh, Situs, yeah. Situs. It's uh, Lebanese food. It's delicious. Lebanese food. It was really, really good. Went there with your aunt. Yeah, that? that was so good. It was amazing. That was good too. All right, All right well, we're at the comic shop. So let's go to the comic book store. Comic books. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how are you? Hello there. Oh, you guys, how are you? Good. Yeah, no, everyone looks, everyone Thank looks you. the same. Thank you. I know, yeah. I know. Thanks for the Yeah, everyone recognizes the hair. <laughs> Taking the birthday boy out shopping. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Another day, right? We, we do little YouTube videos. Is it okay if I walk around and just get... Sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Definitely. Yeah, you guys always... Thank you. It's an old, it's an old GoPro. I, we need a new one, but this, this works for now. I was going to say, if it works, it's fine. Yeah, it saves me money. <laughs> Ooh, Godzilla. Ooh, he's cool looking. Is that the one with, uh, oh, what's his name? It's like a comic book reality show. I don't even know if they still make it anymore. Oh, you mean, um, oh, with the nerd kids. What's that? My brain's not working today. Yeah. I'll remember it like an hour from now. It gives the viewer something to yell at. You know, <laughs> Ooh, dollar books. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hey, come shop with us, YouTubers. That's an old book. That's cool. Those are, are they the real, those are reprints. Are those reproductions? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're, they're reprints, hey, yeah. How are you? I've got some of those. <laughs> I found some of those at a thrift store actually once. Oh, you turn it on? Uh, no, it's still rolling. Yeah, I found some of those at a thrift store a while back and man, that was a thrill. <laughs> they wanted about the same for, for them. Okay, a few bucks each. So it's hard for me to flip through this, so I'll just video you flipping through books. You gotta get better at that. All the other YouTubers are just like, everything's one-handed. I know. It's real easy for them. It's like, boop, boop, boop. They, they just, I'm not, they do all of that all this the one, time. I never read this book. It's called Chew, but I think it's about, it's about a detective that can uh, solve crimes by eating some of the corpse of oh, the murdered victim. That's really gross. Yeah, from what I remember. Interesting idea. Uh, it looks kind of wacky there, but yeah, never read that book. Chrono mm. nuts, like time. The Rawhide Kid, The Sensational Seven. Sounds like he's chafing. It's a western. He gets a little chafy, that guy. He's all rawhide. These are newer of, ones. Yeah, look at a lot of newer ones. What I usually do when I look through these, look you for look the, for the old ones, right? Look for the yellow, the yellow paper on top, like. The yellow are usually the older. Obviously, that's really old. But that's a coverless comic. It looks like Evangelion. That looks like something Tom would buy, the coverless ones. Yeah, this is like Haunted Tank, Star-Spangled War stories. Just to read them, he'll buy all those cheapy, beat-up ones. There's some of these in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you're okay. But, yeah, so look around the store a little bit. Yeah. Got a lot of cool stuff. All the new comics. 
the way they lay them out here. Yeah, there's a lot. Oh, look at that shirt from uh, Breaking Bad, the the chicken restaurant. Oh, polo. It's hanging up the green one there to your left. I can't see anything. It's over here hanging up. Oh, in front of you. Those polos. The monos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That would be great. Yeah, it's gonna take money though. That's the difference. I could do it. Just need money and time. Do a fundraiser or something. Yep. A GoFundMe or whatever. Makes the most sense. Who knows? It might uh, be a real good thing. Oh yeah. But I'm really liking that show, The Boys. I finished uh, both of those um, seasons. You just wanted to read the books. I got I got volume I got one compilation and then uh, but it disappeared I don't know where it went I just got it so it's somewhere somewhere in the house, somewhere in the house. probably but, just misplaced it well, apparently so I can't find it now yeah. and it, it's a, it's different than the show which is good kind of like the way Walking Dead comics are different from the uh, TV show that they did There's mm. some differences which again maybe keep, I like that idea because then you can enjoy both you don't have to say well I already read the book I need to see the show and vice versa I don't even Right. See the show because I read the books. So. I look over here. Mm -hmm. Do you keep doing there's a new Morbius. Do you want it? It's issue one. Morbius. Maybe we should get that to read. Yeah. I want to see the movie. More? No, that was the only one I saw oh, there. Ooh, it looks good too. Definitely going to get that. Yeah, let's get that one. It's the last one. Definitely. We can ask about the movie. See if I can know. Yeah, I wonder when that's coming out. I've been yeah. wanting to see no, it. It was supposed to come out last year. Last spring. Because I, I really liked Morbius. Well, it looked awesome. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, I got something on the Facebook page about it. Let's see what else is over there. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. I breathed a body. And it's like, it makes me think of Hellraiser, of uh, the dude who was like trying to get his body back. Like if you, that that's, uh, reminds me of Hellraiser a lot. Yeah, yeah, Frank, Uncle Frank. Oh, that's gross. That's cool though. I breathed a body. It reminds me uh, people I don't know. No, it isn't. Probably inspired by. Campy.
It's rolling. All right, all right, all right. We got the haul coming up here of our big, uh, my birthday thrift excursion. And, um, and, uh, from, so this is from that jewelry video from the other day. Oh, finish it. So up. I've been sorting all of that out and I have some drafts made for eBay and then I have a big pile of stuff I'm going to donate. That's stuff I'm still sorting through. But then these two bags here. Yes. Are the things we got from Goodwill. Yeah. Yeah. We went Goodwilling on my birthday and, oh, and, uh, <laughs> and I'll, yeah, we, we both got, you know. Some stuff, bag of stuff. Oh, well, this was so, from Savers the other day. Some of this stuff is, is mixed in with things we picked up earlier in the week. Well, they don't know that. That's okay. I just said it. You're just too honest. With I this just stuff. said just it. Go for it. How well, you... not all of it has Goodwill tags. That says Savers on no the tag. Attention. They just want to see the junk. So, this I picked up at a VOA. Mm -hmm. Some VHS. Do you want me to hold the camera? It's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in the video right now. No, no, I can hold it. How no, it's hold okay. It? It's it's right here. You can Perfect. see it. Scream 1 and Scream 2. Scream 2 is sealed, and it has the video Ooh. store sticker on it. Seven bucks. Um, bucks. So I think that might be... hundred? Not a hundred. I don't know. Forty? Maybe twenty-five. Really? I have to double check. It's been a while. I know uh, I've sold these tapes before. I just don't remember what they sold for. Seal's always better, though. Yeah, it is. Okay, now this was picked up at the Honey Hole, our very special Goodwill. Yes. This is Blinky Electric Jack O Light, and this is from the '90s, made in the USA. That's yeah. great. That's great to see. But yeah, I paid um, two twenty nine for it, and that might be like a thirty. USA. USA. Might be like a thirty dollar thing. I know Vintage Halloween does very well, especially in the box like that. How do you think Blinky talks? Put him back on and, and give him a voice. Oh, 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 hi guys, I'm Blinky. Happy Halloween. Oh, 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 happy Halloween. <laughs> Buy, me. Buy me on eBay. Um, okay, so there's Bernie Mev, New York. These shoes look like they were never worn. Bernie who? Bernie Sanders? No, Ber shoes? Bernie Mev. And I paid six seventy nine for this pair, size 40. That's in European sizes. In U.S. sizes, it's like a size 9 or a 9.5. Um, I've sold the, this brand before, so I'm thinking I could get between $30 and $40 for those shoes. There's a black slip-on pair. Here's a gray pair of the same brand. Oh. Same price, um, $6.79. Bernie Mev. And then here's some more Bernie Mev shoes. And again, like really clean. Really good now, there. Where do you think that these come from when they're like in this condition in the same style? What so, is maybe someone bought them and never wore them, or you maybe uh, a store donated them if it didn't sell. Hmm. Tom's, these are in really good condition. Paid eight seventy nine. It well actually it was half that, so it was like four dollars. And my battery is dying, so let's change the battery. Wee. <laughs> All right, full battery now. All right. So I, I showed you the shoes. So there's the shoes. I got one, two, three, four pairs of pretty good shoes that I think I could flip. Mm -hmm. Here's a coach bag. Ooh. This is a vintage coach bag, and it looks a little worn. The leather's worn, but. I can get it looking nicer again, and I paid 50% off of eight seven nine, so I paid maybe four dollars and something, four dollars and forty cents. And uh, yeah, if I clean that up, I could get maybe twenty to fifty for this bag. So I was happy with my Goodwill haul, and I'm still going through all that stuff there. So I'm hoping. Uh, Mm. Next week, I'll be working on things like that. And what did you find, what James? What did I find? What did James find what on his birthday you? excursion out to yes. the thrifter stores? Well, I also, too, went to the VOA with you. I only bought a couple things. This is a little bag of little fun uh, figures that I will go through on a separate video, probably on my New World Hoarder channel. I know it's a little not confusing, but... I do have a, a channel called The New World Hoarder. The New World Hoarder. So maybe you can unbag those yeah. and go through all the little toys individually. I'll admit, I, I started breaking up, but I, I broke the bag open, but I did not go through them yet. I don't. I was just wanted to look at one piece that was in there. But yeah, this one's still sealed. So yeah, I paid about you know, two bucks to the, two bucks and three bucks for you know, one, another one. But there's a lot of cool little figures in there. Some look pretty old. Some are not that old, but um, I, don't, I don't know. But the reason I had to buy both is because uh, there are... You know, there's some stuff in here that's in this bag, and this is the first one I found, so 
just get them all. There's a couple few pieces in this one. But anyway, that's a separate video. Um, I, too, also bought Blinky that you didn't want to buy because he this one was faded and yeah. the packaging was a little more beat up. That one was more beat up, so I left him on the shelf and then you went and rescued him. Because it doesn't even matter. Uh, I don't think that the that, that really will. I think it, it, it was not going to sell for the same price your will, yours will. But, I mean, it was a $2.29 investment. I can probably flip it for at least 25 That's not bad. That's really good uh, return. Yeah, I think it, ROI you, you could that. technically still sell it, but I was being yeah. more picky. That's okay. And didn't want to buy one that was faded. But people like, like even if it's faded, that the, the packaging, this is what they, they don't know, nostalgic about the whole thing. So yeah. I think it will sell. I maybe mean, it wasn't could, a big investment. Maybe so. it could be repainted. And there's Jack. If they wanted to. There's oh. a different Jack. Hello, Jack. Also at the hey, buddy. Oh, this is not VOA. Also at the VOA, this isn't a great CD, but this one is interesting. Um, it's called Thunder. Was it Thunder Lords? What is that? It, that? That's what's really weird about CDs is that um, to me, the stranger, the the band name, and the uh, more unusual the cover art or whatever, I, it usually tends to be worth something. It's kind of strange. Now, whether someone's going to buy it or not, that's another thing. So, uh, this is like the last thing I picked up at the at the, the Volunteers of America thrift store the other day, and I looked this up, and someone has it on eBay for like eighty bucks. Eighty dollars yeah. for this CD? Yeah, I think it's a kids, uh, you know, music for kids. Yeah, made by this guy, and it's probably like hard rock, but it's like all kids songs, like goofy titles that I can't read right this second, but. Not because I can't read because I don't have my glasses. I on. like dirt, ice cream, headache, growl like a lion, Rawr. song about nothing. There you go. Okay. So yeah, so this one, there's a little kid. I'm probably his daughter or whatever. But yeah, this uh, weird. Right? These Very are, strange. And, you know, and it, it was only 90 cents. So again, you can't go wrong with that. Um, what else? This is nothing. This is car garbage or garbage as I call it. Um, okay, so at the uh, yesterday's excursion. I got uh, some more DVDs. Um, these are these skating, skateboarders and the BMX uh, bike type of guys, uh, DVD type of thing. These sell relatively well, believe it or not. Um, I've sold uh, DVDs like this anywhere from $15 up to $60, $70. Uh, I've already sold one of these in the past and this one's actually in really good shape. Uh, it looks brand new on the back. There's no scratches at all on the, on, the, on the reverse of this. And I did sell one like this, I think in the past, like, like several months ago for like 30 or 40 dollars that's great so yeah and this was actually a dollar because it was half off now the goodwill you know that we go to or the, the honey holes you call it <clears throat> they used to uh um all their media cassette tapes cds um records books were a dollar like anything was a buck but now they just recently changed and, and started uh, making CDs two dollars unless they're half off or you know blah blah, blah the color. So they're one ninety nine now. Yeah, they're one ninety nine. CDs. CDs are still a dollar, and on books, I don't know what they did with the book prices, but that's a shame that they went and they changed their their price structure because that was where well, it's still okay. You know, even at two bucks, it's still a good mm -hmm. investment. But I like that whole everything is a buck media. It just makes it easier, and and it would probably sell through faster. This is a DVD called Elstree. Tree. This is the first one I found. It's a it's a documentary on the people that worked on the first uh, Star Wars movies in, over in England in 1977 or 76, whenever they were shooting all that stuff. But it's a documentary. This could be 15, 20 bucks. You know, it's a library copy, but you know, it, it, they sell for about 15. Uh, and this one I just picked up uh, because uh, we just recently watched Cobra Kai, and um, they make reference. To, I've seen these movies, the Iron Eagle movies, but I don't know if you have seen these. I have not, but they look really cheesy. But yeah, but uh, they made reference to you know check want to watch go go home and watch Iron Eagle one and two. The, this this is this one's good, and the second one is so dopey, it's so great. Um, but yeah, I had to pick this up for a buck just to watch it. Um, I thought this was a no-brainer. It's a Milwaukee brand uh, auger bit, and uh, yeah, this uh, it's still in the package. It's vintage. I think it could be perhaps in the seventies, eighties, probably eighties. Um, these, when I looked them up real quick, I only paid like four bucks for it or something, like three oh nine for it, mm -hmm. yeah. or three bucks, three thirty nine, three thirty nine. Um, this I've seen them as low as eighteen and, and on up. So I don't know if it's if the older ones might be worth more. Don't know, but. That brand Milwaukee is a very expensive tool brand. Um, it's 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 definitely high price, higher price stuff. So yeah, I mean for three dollars, I mean why not buy that? Um, 
Rescue, you know, you do rescue dolls. I rescue monster figures. You and rescue so would you. Godzilla. Yeah, these don't really go for much. It's an Imperial. It's made by a company named Imperial. It's like a Godzilla. That's not a knockoff. I just don't think it was authorized by Toho. But uh, it's obviously Godzilla. They didn't really do anything different to make it not Godzilla. Um, just a cheaper looking thing. But these, 1985, these probably go for, I think, 10 bucks that you can get them for still online, you know, on eBay. But yeah. He's cool though. He's neat. But, uh, you know, it's a rescue. So even if yeah. I don't sell it, I, I'll keep it. That's, that's yeah, I think if you thing. see a Godzilla at a thrift store, you have to uh, rescue them. This is something I picked up just, uh, I'm probably going to keep this. They, they don't retail for much. But this is a really neat little radio. It has a, um, well, the flashlight's not the cool part. OFX? Yeah, I think from what I could tell, I don't really see that much instruction stuff that came with that much stuff. But um, it, it says MP3. I think you can download songs into this thing, hook it up to your computer, and there probably is like a mini hard drive in there. Oh. Or like a little flash card. And uh, I think it plays your MP3s, uh, and it has a rechargeable battery. You can run it on uh, the double A's, but it also has like a little camera battery, a flat battery nice. that you can recharge. Would you pay for USB well, for forty nine? Yeah, I think when I scanned it, it came up like fifteen bucks or something on uh, on eBay. So I, it was more uh, something that I could use or even let my mom use because she listens to these little portable radios all the time. Goes through batteries like no one's business. So this might actually be for her. I still learn how to work it. Or get the lithium batteries because they seem to last longer and they don't leak battery acid. Maybe. I would just buy the lithium. This is this is really good. This is a uh, it, not only does it look cool, and that's what attracted me to it, but it's made by Studebaker. And you just bought me a radio uh, for Christmas by this brand. Yeah, Studebaker. It was a tape player. Yes, this CD player. When I looked it up, and you saw it too, I think someone had one, exact same one. Uh, I think loose out of the box for like eighty bucks. Well, make sure it works. So yeah, it. Uh, and you paid five sixty nine for it. Paid up a little bit. That's you know, and uh, again, I mean, but. If I get 40, 50 bucks out of it, or 40 bucks would be great to get out of that. That's fun. And I like the color, too. It's like a sea foam. Yeah, it's really neat. And the last thing that I got, I'll show you. This is the probably the, the, the thing that, the, that paid for everything and, and then some. This, if you don't know out there, is used, was used a lot when I was uh, working in graphic design in the early 90s. It's a rechargeable electric eraser. And it, it actually it sounds absurd. But the, you buy different. They have these blue ones. Uh, Paper and film. Yeah, these blue ones, if I don't, if I remember correctly, uh, were better for ink. And then they had white erasers, and they're like long, like refillable, you know, uh, rubbery eraser things, right? You put them in there, and uh, you charge it up, and then you can, you know, sit there and erase. I remember using these back in this art studio to, when I worked at American Greetings. Uh, we'd use. They had a bunch of these. I mean, every desk had one. It was pretty neat. And uh, it definitely saved time, and it really, it, like, if you ever try to erase uh, colored pencil, the, you know, colored pencils, they're hard to, to erase with a regular, you know, erase. You know, so those work better than bad, just a, erasing yeah. by hand? And these guys would do these really, really intricate pencil drawings back. It was awesome stuff. Nice. Um, and I was working on that stuff, too, so I guess I did it, too. But, yeah, I had one of these at work a long, long time ago. And this, okay, so, but why is this so great? Well... Yeah, what do they sell for? So you paid Someone, for something? I, oh, five forty nine yeah. for it. And what, what what do you think you could get for it? So, well, I don't know yet, but what I do know is on eBay, someone's asking just for this, eighty dollars. So just for one piece? Just for the regular eraser, and I think it said not. I don't know if it said for parts or not working. It said read description. In other words, so they, it might not even be tested. If it were me, because these would be recharged special on this recharger. I would probably dock. put it up with free shipping. One fifty. Like one fifty. Yeah. I'm gonna try for 150 on this free shipping. And then you could always lower the price if yeah. it, if time goes on and it's not selling. Yeah, you could always lower it a little bit. Yeah, it, it's I can sort of. But this for 549, sure. if you could get that, oh, yeah, make sure it works for sure. Yeah, but see, this is the, you load it with this thing, and it came with this already. And even if I remember, you used to twist this, it would tighten it up. That's great. Yeah, it is pretty dangerous. That the really button. is the honey hole. I mean, we we do find <sighs> I find really nice shoes and bags that. Um, are, are good brands and like these, I mean these shoes look like they were never worn. Like the soles on them look clean. This this bag was a good price for vintage coach. And if I can get that leather looking better, um, I mean that that could be good to sell. And you you're good with those little electronicals and the DVDs and uh, 
We both look for vintage Halloween. Yeah. And and some vintage toys. So. For sure. Yeah, you know, and it's cool. Like we each have different eyes for different things. We do. And I have four of them right now. Yes, you do. <laughs> so yeah, you already see that there's a piece missing, but that's something like I don't know if I can replace it, but maybe I can. But it, it, there's a ring that should be. I was wondering how you tighten this. There's like a little ring up that would be on the front of this. It probably f slipped off. But again, if someone's selling one of these as is, like this might be the the gem right here, just the recharger part. Yeah. I might be able to split it up. I don't know. I would say just sell it together. Yeah. Other people might say part it out, but you need all the oh, pieces oh, it, for it's it. It's here. <laughs> it was. Oh, that's here. You need all the there pieces for it to it's, work. It's freaking complete. Nice. I didn't see it was there. Okay, so this is how yeah. you do it. You, you just get your eraser there. And that's right. You would pull this in front to sort of cinch it. Do you think some like serious that? artist person would yeah, buy that? Yeah. Someone, and plunk down the monies? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. This is freaking mint. This is amazing. Yeah, this this could be 150 bucks. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's, and I saw that, I'm like, boom. I said, I, I, so between the two of us, I think we could at least make a couple hundred bucks on, on what we purchased today. Here, here's hoping. Or yesterday. Here's hoping. So. <laughs> this is uh, the next day. <laughs> yeah. After our uh, little excursion. And uh, we, we, what are we going to, what's our challenge for ourselves next week is to not go uh, thrifting. We're going to stay in all week next week and, and list and just uh, shop the house. Yeah, next week we're going to stay in and list because uh, we just have a lot of things here and we've been buying a lot of things so we need to really get, I... get it listed because if it's just sitting around and we're not listing, then we're hoarders. That's well, and I am, and I, I'm admittedly <laughs> one, and that's why I did my own uh, new world ho hoarder, new world, I can't even plan, new world hoarder channel, and uh, boy, I'm gonna let it all hang out. I'm gonna show some show stuff it that all. I'm a little embarrassed about, but you're gonna show but it I, all. But I'm not because I'm willing <laughs> to get rid of it. So, and we have multiple playlists on this channel. This is yes. obviously a monster hustle video. This is a behind the scenes video, and if you like our characters, the mummy and the monkey. Uh, Janet Takei and Grim Gory. Right. We're on Facebook. We host our movie shows there. And uh, we also play some skits and stuff on YouTube and have our YouTube talk shows. That's right. Resellers by day, hoarder hosts by night. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys we for watching. We have a show tonight. I'm and sorry, go ahead. We, we have a show tonight. Yeah, you're right. We have to get ready for that. We have to get ready. And uh, Jack looks like he's ready. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Uh, he doesn't care. He gives no Fs. He's taking a nap. All right. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm. And uh, Godzilla says to hit like, hit subscribe. Like and subscribe the channel. <laughs> Whoa, we almost forgot to show you this one really creepy thing we found. Bonus buy. So this is a bonus uh, v bonus footage here. Ready for this? Ready. They saw it in the video earlier, but we wound up picking it up. Woo! It's, it's our mini monster. What's her, what's her name? Petunia. Petunia, I like that. Her name is Petunia, and she is um, creepy as hell. Petunia. <laughs> so yeah. she's a green, um, looks like handmade from the early 70s. She's this little green creature with funky hair and this uh, little lizard kind of nose. Really, really cool looking. And she it. looks like she's handmade. And she was sitting in our shopping cart from, yeah, that earlier video. But she was $3.39. And she was so weird. Had to have it. I was we like, had to take her home. You were going to put it back. I'm like, no, we need that. <laughs> That's calling out to me. It's like that Charlie Chaplin glowing stick and yeah. cane and hat moment in the movie Chaplin. He knew that's what So he she belongs on the show. This is going to be one of our monster, mini monsters. She's a mini monster kid. There yeah. we go. For the mini monsters uh, on our uh, Mummy and the Monkeys Harry Scary Hangout, our live stream that we host on Friday night on our Facebook page. All right. Well, Petunia, you're part of the crew now. Really? Am I really? Yeah, you are, Petuna. That's good. Uh, no. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>